Today we celebrate the Heilige Wolfgang von the Regensburg. That is uh, Saint Wolfgang of Regensburg. He was born in Germany and educated at the local abbey. And there he met Hungary, Henry, a young noble who went on to become the Archbishop. Meanwhile, Wolfgang remained in close contact with the Archbishop, teaching in his cathedral school and trying to help him out with the reform of the clergy, and we all know how that usually goes. So, when the Archbishop died, Wolfgang chose to become a Benedictine monk and moved to an abbey, now part of Switzerland in Einseldein. He was ordained a priest, appointed director of the monastery, and later went off to Hungary as a missionary, though his zeal and goodwill yielded limited results. So Emperor Otto II appointed him Bishop of Regensburg near Munich. He immediately initiated reform of the clergy and of religious life, preaching with vigor and effectiveness and always demonstrating special concern for the poor. He wore the habit of a monk and lived an austere life. The draw to monastic life, though, never left him, including the desire for a life of solitude. At one point he left his diocese so he could devote himself to prayer, but his responsibilities as bishop called him back. In 994, he became ill while on a journey and died near Linz, Austria. He was canonized in 1052, and his faith is celebrated widely in much of Central Europe. It's also the day when we celebrate Halloween. You all know the story by now, so I don't have to repeat it too much. But Halloween means Hallow, Holy Eve, Evening. It's the holy evening before the Feast of All Saints. That's why it's called Halloween. It's a religious holiday. So let us act religiously and remind others of the sanctity of Halloween. That's your job. You must be missionaries and servants of Christ and let others see Christ in you each and every day in every moment and aspect of your lives. Then you will be one day also highly regarded as a participant in Halloween, the holy evening before all saints. Hmm. Got it? Good.